Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Theresa May. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I do not intend to dwell on the events covered in the report of the Committee of Privileges or its conclusions. It is a rigorous report, and I accept its findings. I do want to comment on the role of the Committee, the role of this House, and the importance of today's debate and vote for our political life, this Parliament, and our democracy. It is not easy to sit on in judgment on friends and colleagues. One day you're judging the behaviour, the next day you might be standing next to them in the queue in the members' tea room. I know it is not easy because, as Prime Minister, I had to judge, take decisions based on judgments about the behaviour of friends and colleagues, decisions which affected their lives and potentially their careers. But friendship, working together, should not get in the way of doing what is right. I commend the members of the Privileges Committee for their painstaking work and for their dignity in the face of slurs on their integrity. To all the members of the Committee, this House should, as the Leader of the House said, say thank you for your service. Thank you for being willing to undertake this role. And particular thanks to the Right Honourable Member for Camberwell and Peckham for being willing to stand up to chair the Committee when the Right Honourable Member for Rhonda rightly recused himself. This committee report matters, this debate matters, and this vote matters. They matter because they strike at the heart of the bond of trust and respect between the public and Parliament that underpin the workings of this place and of our democracy. I will go. I'm very grateful, Mr Deputy Speaker. The Leader of the House... The Leader of the House spoke about representing Portsmouth. I returned from Portsmouth today early from a Defence Committee meeting to be here to vote in support of this uh, report. Does she agree that even though Boris Johnson has absented himself from this House, almost to some degree making this report somewhat academic, the nation wants to see its conclusion? The nation who puts us here wants to make sure that this process reaches its conclusion. I repeat again that I will be supporting this report here today in the House. Can I say that I am pleased to hear that the uh, Chairman of the Defence Select Committee will be supporting this, uh, this report. I think he can take it from the fact that I have just said that the committee report matters, that the debate matters and that this vote matters, that I do think people want to see us coming to a conclusion today. If people see us making rules for them and acting as if they are not for us, that trust that I spoke about between the public and Parliament is undermined. If they see members of this House trying to save the careers of friends who have been clearly found by due process to have been guilty of wrongdoing, as happened in the case of Owen Paterson, their respect for us is eroded. And without that trust and respect, their faith in our very parliamentary democracy is damaged. As MPs, we are in some sense leaders in our communities, but with that leadership comes responsibility. We each and every one of us bear the responsibility to put the people we serve first, to be honest with them and with one another, and to uphold the standards of this place. Now, we all know that in the rough and tumble of parliamentary debate between people of opposing views, there will be exaggeration careful use of facts, and in some cases misrepresentation. But when something is said that is wrong and misleads this House, we are all, not just ministers, we are all under an obligation not to repeat it and to correct it at the first opportunity. Above all, we are all responsible for our own actions. Beyond that, this House has a responsibility to ensure standards are upheld by showing that we are willing to act against the interests of colleagues when the facts require it, and in this case I believe they do. The decision of the House on this report is important. It is important to show the public that there is not one rule for them and another for us. Indeed, I believe we have a greater responsibility than most to uphold the rules and to set an example. 
The decision also matters to show that Parliament is capable of dealing with members who transgress the rules of this House. If you like, to show the sovereignty of Parliament. <laughs> and following an unsettling period in our political life, support for the report of the Privileges Committee will be a small but important step in restoring people's trust in members of this House and of Parliament. And I also say to members of my own party that it is doubly important for us to show that we are prepared to act when one of our own, however senior, is found wanting. I will vote in favour of the report of the Privileges Committee. I urge all members of this House to do so, to uphold standards in public life, to show that we all recognise the responsibility we have to the people we serve, and to help to restore faith in our parliamentary democracy. Yeah. Yeah. Chairman of the committee.